let's, uh, I guess, pull the hood back on this for a second then, Chauncey Billups. Um, is this the best way then to beat the Warriors, is to, is to outpace them, out-tempo them? What do you think? I don't, I, don't, I don't know that you can outpace or tempo them, but, um, you know, again, like I said, they, you know, LeBron, I think, is the best player in basketball, so, you know, they have the best player in the series. Um, and LeBron James, and if he can knock down jump shots, he's just a different cover. I mean, there's nothing that you can really do with him. Kyrie's gotten going. He's after 39 over the last two games. Hopefully his game travels on the road. Um, but he's shown that they can't really control him. So if those two guys are playing great and they're getting three-point shooting from all the other pieces, is this this will be going six. Well, what do you think? Do you think that actually happens tonight, Chauncey? Um, you know, I, I do. I do, actually. You know, I think they come in with a, with a ton of confidence. I think the pressure's on the Warriors to close them out. Um, the pressure's not really on the Cavs. I mean, they play on house money at this point. Nobody thinks they can win. It was down 0-3. It's never been done in the history of the game. So I think the pressure's on the Warriors tonight, you know, to close it out. But I think the confidence you know, is, is in the, is in the Cavs court. Well, if that happens tonight, Chauncey, if you guys are taking a flight to Cleveland for game six, that would, I mean, that would certainly ratchet the pressure up. So you're thinking <laughs> third quarter, fourth quarter, if this is still a game that the Warriors begin to feel that on their shoulders? Quarter, uh, in if, the guts? if this game, if it's a, if it's a six point game in the fourth quarter, uh, you know, six, seven minutes left in the game, the, the pressure will be felt by Warriors, but I will say, in fairness to the Warriors, I mean they got two guys in the starting lineup that weren't that wasn't a part of that last year, with Katie and Zaza. Even though Zaza probably won't be in the game in the fourth quarter, um, Iggy probably will, and that happened to him, you know. But there, there's there's something to be said about you know a team coming back three one on you, winning two games out of three in your building. Um, We'll see. But I tell you, Steph Curry has been a different player this year, too. So it, it's 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 an uphill climb for the, for, the, for, the, for the Cavs, absolutely. But I'm looking forward to seeing it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you liked some of that, get some more of that on the Rich Eisen Show app. Follow all the information you see right here on the Rich Eisen Show.